All right, guys, what is going on? It's Nathan here. We're back today with a video on what you should be doing to eat to get big, like what you do to eat to get big. So, like, I'm going to go over a couple of things, like what I used to do, uh, what people think you have to do versus what you really have to do, the kind of macros that you want, the calories, and dirty bulking and lean, and lean bulking. So, like, that sort of stuff. That's what we'll be going over today. So let's get straight on into it. So for part one, I'm going to tell you about what I used to do. So back when I used to bulk, I used to eat like 3,000 calories a day, or 3,000 to 3,500 a day, and it would be relatively, actually it wasn't clean. A lot of my carbs came from sugars and so did a lot of my calories because I was like, what, 16? And I wasn't, I was tracking, but I had no idea what I was doing. And I wasn't eating anywhere near enough protein and anywhere near enough carbs. I was just, I was tracking the food, but I wasn't tracking it sensibly. I wasn't using my brain and I didn't have enough research under my belt. So I was eating like four muesli bars for a snack. And then for a meal, what would I eat? I'd eat the bloody quick... Easy Mac little pasta container things that have two of them that are full of maltodextrin and a heap of other flavor enhancers and all heaps of bad fucking additives and preservatives and shit that are really bad for you. Um, I'd also go for a lot of protein shakes because I had that in my head. Oh, we have to protein shakes, protein shakes equal muscle. Get it in, glug glug. No, I, I used to do that and... I did pack on some weight, but it wasn't good weight, and I wasn't getting big. Like, I wasn't gaining weight at the rate that I should have been for what I was eating, because I was eating so bad. Hey, and for you people, the about 90 to 95% of you that watch my videos on Unsubscribed, hit the subscribe button. What people think that you do to have a proper bulk, so where you gain like 10 or 15 kilos for a bulk, so this is a big proper bulk over like 16 weeks. People think, oh, you have to eat really healthy, you have to eat really clean. Heaps of chicken breasts, rice. No, that's shit, that is boring. It's a bulk. You can eat what you want. Bulk's more than likely in the off season, so it doesn't really matter. Eat what you want. Eat steaks, eat pasta, eat rice if you want, chicken if you want, but you can, I eat fast food twice a week, and that's during a bulk. So you really want to, the most you want your meals to be spaced out is about two to three hours. Anything past that, and you're going to be going into where your body is starting to burn fat and starting to burn through not food calories. So for the macros, my macros that I used to have were like I'd eat 150 protein, 150 to 180. I don't even know the kind of carbs I was eating. It was probably only like 300 to 400 a day. And for fats, I'd probably eat like 150 fats a day. So that would be around 3000 calories for what I used to eat. But for the macros now, during the bulk that I've done now, and I've gained 10 or 11 kilos in a month and a half, you, oh, well, I have eaten 300 grams of protein a day. I've eaten 700 grams of, cal of not calories, carbs a day. And for fats, I've eaten anywhere from 120 to 150 a day. So that's 5,000 plus calories. That's like 5,500 calories a day. They're the kind of calories and macros that you want to be eating because... Your body is like a machine. You let the machine run out of fuel and it's gonna start spluttering and then eventually it's gonna turn off because it's run out of fuel. So you fill it back up and you let it run and when it gets down to halfway, instead of going, oh no, I'll let it run out, you fill that bitch back up and it runs forever. That's what bulking is. And what I mean by run forever, in the sense of bulking, I mean you're going to keep on gaining. So a lot of it also is, yeah, you can track macros, but if you want to, you can just straight up track calories. 
and not worry about your macros. Because the amount of food you're eating, you're gonna get your protein. You're gonna get, I'd say, at least 200 protein a day. You're gonna get your enough carbs and you're gonna get enough fats. If you hit the calories, it should be all right. So my experience for me to gain decent weight in a bulk, I would say anywhere from 4,000 calories up, 4,000 being the lowest, because if you go to the gym five to six days a week and you work five days a week, your total daily expenditure is going to be over 3,000 calories. So you want to be damn fucking bug or some shit in here. Um, your total daily, I've lost where, what I was saying now. Um, oh yeah, because you're working, you're working out, uh, you're going to be burning a lot. You're going to be burning 3,000 calories. And now, I know people say, oh, only being a 500 plus calorie surplus, but from my experience, that's not enough for me. I need to be at least a thousand over. That's why I'm currently sitting at like over 1500 over. I would say my total daily expenditure would be above three and a half thousand. So I eat over 5,000 calories a day, close to five and a half thousand. And what, and eventually I'm gonna up it to 6,000 when I start plateauing, because it's gonna happen. Your body realizes what's happening and it becomes more efficient. So you up the calories, surprise your body, and you're gonna gain weight again. So when you eat in a bulk, you wanna eat to the point of you feel like you're gonna be sick. Because there's no, there's no easy way around it. Food is the hardest part. It is the hardest part. Because you are you work out for two hours a day, an hour to two hours. And then the rest of your day is eating. And then you sleep for, say, eight hours. And then for the oh, 14, 15 hours that you're awake and not in the gym, you're pretty much eating most of that time. There's no way around it. Food is the hardest part about it. And so we're gonna talk about a bit about dirty bulking as well now. So dirty bulking, in my experience, is the best way to go. Because you're in the off season or even if you're not in the off season, if you are in prep, you're going to want to put on muscle. So even though you gain all this fat, even though you gain all this weight, it doesn't matter because underneath that you're building quality muscle. And because you have so much fat, it's never going to atrophy. It is always going to be constantly getting fed. So bulking up in a dirty bulk can be a good thing. And getting fat, because from my experience, that is the best way to do it, to gain weight, and then when you gain all that weight, you cut it back down. I don't think lean bulking is very good because, yeah, sure, you gain weight at a slower pace and you gain only muscle, but since you're only eating, what, less than 4,000 calories a day, I'd say 3,500, just above 3,000, or a little bit more than your total daily expenditure, your maintenance calories, when you go into a cut, at the end of your cut, at the end of your prep, you're going to be on like 1,500 calories a day. Fuck that. I would rather eat 5,500 to 6,000 calories a day just so that by the end of my cut, the end of my bulk, because I eat so high, my maintenance calories have moved up to 5,500 a day. So therefore, I can start losing weight at 5,200, 5,100 calories at the beginning. And then week by week, I slowly bring it down. And then by the time that I'm at the end of my cut, my calories are still above 3,000. I mean, that sounds good to me. That does not sound shit. That is the way to do it. And it, dirty bulking, you eat what you want. It doesn't matter. You don't have to fucking eat chicken and rice and broccoli your whole fucking life. What I've found as well, I do eat chicken and rice, I do eat 
steak and rice. I eat all that shit every day, but I don't eat it every single meal. Like say for breakfast, I'll have bacon and eggs on toast. Like I'll have five, six eggs, four bits of bacon, four bits of toast. Good, good breakfast for morning tea. So like a morning meal, I'll have chicken and rice for lunch. I'll have steak, veggies, and yeah, rice. I'll have steak, veggies, and rice. Then for the mid afternoon meal, I'll have pasta. I'll have spaghetti. I'll have carbonara. Who knows what I'll have? It doesn't matter. You don't have to eat steak and rice, chicken and rice every meal and want to hate yourself. Like, what did I have for lunch today? Fuck, this is really going to test me. Okay, for breakfast today, I had four eggs on English muffins. So I had two English muffins. So I cut them in half and each egg sat on each. And I had that with a heap of uh, spicy mayonnaise. And I had with breakfast, a chocolate chip muffin and a coffee. And that's over a thousand calories. And then for lunch, I had this humongous bowl of spaghetti, two oranges, and like 60 grams of honey roasted nuts. Man, that is good shit. That is a good meal. That tasted good. I enjoyed that meal. Unlike chicken that has the consistency of sand and rice that feels like fucking Play-Doh. I'm just rambling at this point. I'm gonna finish this video before it fucking goes for too long. All right, so don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, go check out my Instagram, do all the rest of that shit, and I'll see you guys in the next one.